oh guys you're here good glad you made it but um i got bad news i just talked to mr cooks and, and he he pretty much said film fest is off he said no rogue clubs no sports no meetings or anything like that he said film fest just isn't going to happen well that's garbage i mean cookson's a yuppie like why do we care i knew i could never trust that bald-headed clown we need a protest Stop the tyranny from above. I've been waiting five years for this. There's no way I'm going down without a fight. You know what, honestly, if 2020 couldn't get any worse, we now have to put up with this. No taxation Please. without representation. Okay, okay. Ah, We've been doing this for like months. Why would we not? My, my, my shorts. Wait, wait, wait. Why, my no, shorts. Listen, I'm listen, tired. There's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. What? Um, I mean, Mr. Cookson pretty much made it clear that we're, school activities are off. This will be the first year in 20 years without the stinking film fest. I'm so sorry. Whatever. Yeah, I'm out. Fine. I'm worth it. Warning, what you are about to watch may make you question everything you thought you know. Your discretion is advised. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, welcome back to another conspiracy theory video. Today, we're going to talk about the theory behind the end of Film Fest 2020. Now, the theory is Aaron Cookson of Hillary Davidson High School knew all too well that the class of 2020 was far too powerful and that this year's Film Fest had the capability of shutting down the U.S. government. And so, what better way to end Film Fest than to create a global pandemic? That's right, Aaron Cookson created the coronavirus himself with his bare hands and flew to China to spread it so that he wouldn't seem suspicious. And he hacked 5G towers around the world so that he could spread the virus wirelessly. But that's just a theory, a game theory. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. So that was it. Film Fest was canceled. I can't believe I wasted four years of high school for nothing. Doesn't this go against, like, some type of law? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention in government. But still, how could this happen? I quickly grew into a state of confusion and sadness. I paced around my room for hours, head empty, no thoughts. I lost sleep. My parents started to worry about me. Hey honey, I brought you a little snack. I didn't care. Who was I without Film Fest? I needed to figure out who was behind this. Someone created this virus on purpose just to stop our Film Fest. I just needed to figure out who it was. I researched and studied. Can you believe someone would go out of their way to make a pandemic just to stop a film fest? Crazy, right? I tried to get every bit of information that I could piece together. But I just couldn't figure it out. I was defeated. I had almost given up. But then it came to me. I knew who sabotaged Film Fest all along. Principal Aaron Cookson.
Morning, ladies. Um, ball passes? No? No. Are you supposed to be out here with the hall pass? Do you, you guys should know that. Um. Mrs. Dennis, can you get those girls? why we don't run in the halls. Who are you? What is happening? What happened to Joe? Who's Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Pine trees lining the winding road. I got a name. 
Hey Sullivan. Oh my god. Hey kid. Hi Sullivan. Oh my god. Oh, wow, I wonder what you're freaking out about. Uh nothing. It's just that. Oh. It's, it's, it's just that. It's just that you have an actual crusader tunic. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! No, but seriously, there's been something eating me up today. Okay, yeah, so, uh, what's been eating you up, kid? Yeah, so, I had this media arts project, right? And it's about idioms. And Ooh, could it be me and Gideon doing a lightsaber duel? <laughs> ah! 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 No, it has to be a stop motion animation. God darn it! Yeah, well, you see, that's not the problem. It's super easy. It's a super easy project. The problem is the idiom I picked. I didn't realize. Well, I mean, I should have realized. It's media arts. But I didn't realize we were going to make a video based off the idiom. Well, uh... Wait, what idiom did you pick? I picked beating a dead horse. Ooh. Wow. wow. Yeah, I realized I kind of kind of screwed myself over with that one. What if we did, like... The Terminator and the T-1000, but surprise, there's, there's, uh, these, there's these two aliens that come into the, the to the Sullivan to, into the pile to fight. But it turns out they're no ordinary aliens. It's the alien and the predator. Sullivan. And suddenly the Assassin's Creed guy comes in, and then Doctor Who comes out of nowhere. And Doctor Who realizes that they're all fighting, and he just backs away. And then there's a there's a new secret challenger, that. a third alien. But it's no ordinary alien, it's Bumblebee from the Transformers, and it's... Sullivan, Sullivan, hey. we're not doing that. We are not doing that. You're beating a dead horse, Sullivan. Exactly. Oh. Today, I'm going to reveal the truth behind the COVID-19 pandemic and its connection to Mr. Cookson and the Illuminati. So, as we all know, all three Hilliard High Schools have a basement, and in that basement there is a pool. But what we didn't know was that in this basement, Cookson and the other principals were working with the Illuminati to create a force field around Hilliard that would make it impossible to leave. Now. You may be wondering why we, they would do this. It's simply to keep the seniors who were grateful to leave Hilliard in until they were forced to realize how great of a city Hilliard actually is. Now, how does this all connect to the COVID-19 pandemic, you may ask? And how do I know Cookson is involved with the Illuminati? And why does this have to do with Film Fest? That can all be answered by one word. Truth. Cookson knew of our Film Fest plans, the plot of the video. We were going to be stuck in Hilliard, no way to get out. And we had to figure out what was causing us to be stuck in Hilliard and fix it. Now, 
because this interfered with Cookson's plans, he knew it had to be stopped. He could not have his secrets being revealed to the general public. So, how do I know Cookson is involved with the Illuminati? Watch this. Random deck of cards shuffled before this video. I'm going to draw three cards because the triangle has three sides. Illuminati. Look at this. All right, random card one. Three. Two. Three. 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 The first three cards of this randomly shuffled deck were all threes. Three cards of the value three. That's proof of the Illuminati right there. So, because, because the Film Fest Committee was onto Cookson's rather evil plan, he and the Illuminati unleashed the COVID-19 virus. They knew it would become a world pandemic. They knew it would shut down essentially the world. And this allowed them to cancel the Film Fest, thus keeping their plan secret, and also delay the realization that people will have once they realize they can't leave Hilliard, because now they're stuck in Hilliard due to the pandemic. And little do they know, they still can't leave. It also gives them more time to refine their technology and perhaps add memory erasing. That way, once you exit Hilliard, you're put back into your home and you have no idea what happened and you simply move on with your life. So, because of this, I know Principal Aaron Cookson has been working with the Illuminati and this was all in their plan to keep us in Hilliard against our wills. So, introduce a little anarchy, upset the established order, and everything will fall into chaos. So, good day, and remember, Cookson is with the Illuminati. Oh my god. This is it. This is the reason. I gotta tell someone. These are all the facts, and we gotta talk about the facts. You wanna talk about the facts? Let's talk about the facts, okay. Pandemic, okay, okay. Cooks, you wanna know why? He wanted Hillary to be the best. He wanted Davidson to be the best. So, all the schools closed down, and he decided then that he needed to fix this, because look, local school districts cancel class. What are you gonna do? You can't have the best school if you cancel class. So we went to his buddy Dan. Danny boy right here. Dan Gardner. Here's the problem. Dan's an art teacher. Other problem? The schools don't support the arts. He wanted the court. He wanted the money. So why not go and see if one of my other good teacher friends was in the art department office? And I went. I walked in. I went to the office he shares with his co-workers. But what did I find? I found an empty room. But he's out there, and I knew it because I heard from him when he told us that this was over. And now I thought about this. I thought, why would Gertie a man who loves making videos, supposedly, want to help Aaron here. And then it occurred to me, Aaron's all about the glory, right? And Davidson's football team haven't won a state championship in a while. Gertie may not care as much about that, but maybe he wants that early retirement. Because who knows, he has been shifting. He's working at the hub a lot more than Davidson. You see that fishing hat? Mm-hmm, all he wants to do. He never shuts up about fishing because he's obsessed with it, because it's all he wants to do. He can't wait till he gets to retire so he can fish every day. But he doesn't care about the children anymore. He is in it for the retirement, and the money, and the fishing. Their only problem is, what they didn't expect is the film fest kids. Now if you'll follow me this way. They never expected this film fest committee be as powerful as they are. You see, we have a diverse group of creative people who all got together and despite their different social groups, connected and were working on the best film fest idea ever. Gertie Knight got scared because he thought, oh no, the art department will stay because the teachers will love it. The students will love it. This will bring more kids into the class, more work for him. No retirement. No glory for Cookson because he doesn't seek glory in the arts. He doesn't care about movies. 
all they want is a football. They plan this whole pandemic just to close the schools to get rid of an art department secretly. They underestimated the 10 of us. We're gonna make the best film fest ever. Um. Art making in the time of this whole quarantine and coronavirus has been probably one of the few things that is keeping me sane. There's a ton of art projects that I really want to start, but I'm just slowly losing the motivation to do any of them. These are really uncertain times, but you know, it, it helps to do the things that I love, even if it's hard to just get motivated. It's hard to stay motivated, but sometimes you just have to do it. And you just have to pick up the pencil or the paintbrush and put it on the paper or the canvas. Let things start to move, make things happen. I've had a lot more time to create art recently and I've been focusing on getting better at digital and trying new things. I feel like making art during all of this is kind of difficult because you know, you're forced to stay inside, you really can't go out to see inspiration or get ideas because, you know, you're stuck inside and you, you, you know, you see the same things you wake up to, you eat breakfast around, and it, it, I feel like it's more difficult to get ideas and inspiration to make art. Um, I haven't been really doing much but make art. I don't know. It's, it's weird to explain, but... Before I go too on about it. Yep. Yeehaw. It's sometimes difficult and frustrating. It's honestly, it's even hard to get out of bed sometimes, but I think you need that outlet to put your feelings somewhere, no matter where you are, no matter what's going on in the world. And I think art has been that. And even if it's difficult, you just slap paint on a paper put those emotions somewhere other than your brain and I think that alone helps. When I'm doing my art, I get most inspired at nighttime. I don't really know why, I just feel more motivated to do all my stuff at night. It relaxes me. When you are stuck inside your house all day, getting creative is a way of losing time and finding yourself amongst the chaos in the world. The beauty of art is building things up and creating life even if things are falling apart everywhere else. I've been just keeping busy with doodling and working on projects that I've always wanted to do. And it's really hard to stay motivated, obviously, but I try and do my best. Finding creativity in the most mundane things. Time is moving so fast during all of this. I'm using my art that I make during the quarantine to remind myself that I'm spending lots of my time creating meaningful pieces of art rather than lazily waiting for things to get better. It really just reminds me that I'm trying to make the best of what I can during these strange times. Art is definitely something that is saving me from going crazy though. I will say that.
Chucks. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Too vast Seraph, and trunkless thy memory is to me, stand in like the some enchanted far off Near them, isle, on the sand, half sea, sunk in a shattered visage, some ocean lies, vexed, from, as it may be. These woods, these are, storms, I think I know, where meanwhile, his house is in the sky, tell the sculptor, he will not see more that one right eye watch which yet survives. Stamped the earth, and a little horse, my hand that crowd dust on the way to the farmhouse, gave thee life, and in thee feed, frozen by the street, and in thee not shy. My soul, I gave thee to those as hard to light on my words with softer sound and fully bright. Especially on the other side, I gave thee such a tender voice with the tone that makes all the veils rise. There is the woods are lovely, the lonely lands they have laid. But I have promised, dost thou know who made these miles to go before it? Not their fault. I'll tell thee who's the little lamb outside thee. He is called by thy name, for he calls himself the lamb. He is meek and he is mild, but the shame he became a little wasted life. I am a child, so many, and thou a lamb, wasted lives, we are called yes. by his name. Little lamb, God bless thee. Little lamb, God bless thee. <laughs> oh, somebody kill me, please! Jello, mole, hello. <laughs> Drop where I came in. Y'all must be mistaken. I was rolling in the mud. Now I really got the bacon. Super high, Martian Matt Damon. Yeah, said what up to Tupac. Homie's back waiting. Cause I brought him from the dead or wherever that cat's hanging. Why they all so mad at me, Kato? Not for real. Yo, I am what I had to be, Kato. Supermarket, I really got the bag of me, Kato. What? Who are you? I'm Charlie. Who are you? Bro, I'm Charlie. Stop capping, bro. Bro, how you got my phone? Give me that, bro. Alright, I don't really know what's going on right now, but I'm gonna ask you guys some questions so I can figure out, like, who's the real Charlie, because, like, this is just tripping me out right now.
Bet, that'll be easy. Easy money. All right, first question. What was the name of my cat that recently passed away this summer? Uh, Cece? Nah, what? All right, how about you, uh, Elder Charlie? It's Coco, bro. Rip to a real one. Hey, th this is the real Charlie. Hey, rip to Coco, though. Wait, so if he's the real Charlie, then who am I? Joe is? Who's Joe? Joe Mama. Who is Joe Mama? Bro, you're overthinking it. It could be out there. I must summon Joe Mama! Joe Mama, I've come here to take your soul. You've got me this time, but I'll be back. You know, you're not very ambitious at your job. Preview. Por la esquina del viejo barrio lo vi pasar Con 
en el tumbao que tienen los guapos al caminar Las manos siempre en los bolsillos de su gabán Pa' que no sepan en cuál de ellas lleva el puñal Usa un sombrero de ala ancha de medio lado Y zapatillas por si hay problemas salir volado Lentes oscuros pa' que no sepan que está mirando Y un diente de oro que cuando... All of the birds died in 1986 due to Reagan killing them and replacing them with spies that are now watching us. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. You know, the first time that I noticed there was something a little strange about the birds, I was probably 11. Um, a baby bird had fallen from the nest that's uh, in the tree in front of my house. And, you know, I went out there because my dogs were freaking out and you know, the bird was glitching, sort of, but it wasn't like a normal kind of glitch. It was uh, more mechanical. Uh, this kind of freaked me out. And so I ran back inside and, you know, told my mom. And by the time we got back outside, the bird was gone and there was a car, you know, speeding away. I do believe that the birds are not real. And I think people have a tendency to, you know, laugh that off and think I'm a little bit crazy, but Honestly, you know, there isn't much evidence that they are real. Back in 1986, the animatronics that Reagan was using were the top of the line. But what we've noticed is that, you know, 30 years really does take a toll on these birds and they look kind of grotesque and they look bad and honestly not very realistic anymore. Numerous administrations have not used the birds simply because they recognize that it's a violation of our privacy, but the Trump administration was completely the opposite. They probably have used the birds more than anybody else. And so when Donald Trump realized that the birds were less realistic and, you know, having a lot of issues and not working great, uh, bird repair became one of his top priorities to accomplish in his first four years of office. The wind kills all your birds. All your birds kill. You know, the environmentalists never talk about that. In California, if you kill a, a bald eagle, they put you in jail for five years. And yet the windmills knock them out like, like flies. It's crazy. I don't want to just hope the wind blows to light up your homes and your factory. As the birds fall to the ground. Bing, that's the end of that windmill. If the birds don't kill it first. The birds can kill it first. They kill so many birds. You look underneath some of those windmills, it's like a killing field of birds. Try going to the bottom of a windmill someday. It's not a pretty picture. Millions of these robot birds had to be fixed, and Donald Trump and his administration recognized this, especially, you know, with spring coming. So he did the one thing that he could, and that was to create a disease that would make us all stay inside. Um, Donald Trump created the virus known as COVID-19 coronavirus, and, you know, it made us oblivious to what was actually occurring around us, and we we're all inside, and we don't really recognize the fact that, you know, so many birds are missing, and you know, not, not here. So I honestly do believe that the birds are not real. And I think it's about time that more people, you know, join this movement and recognize that birds honestly are not real and they were all replaced by spies and that we should be more careful about what we say and do in public because we're always being watched. There's gotta be a way around this. Let's see. Come on, let's do a pop-up ad. No, no, don't, ugh. What in the world is this? What? Come on, escape. Hello, Internet Adventurers! It is I, the Internet Genie, who has turned to stone by a witch in exchange for a box of doorknobs! Doorknobs? I'm back! Why are you back? I, that genie, have elected to grant you a wish or two over the course of this film festival. Use them wisely. Wishes granted! Can you believe it?
is to charge. What's this to do to a bed? Wi-Fi is slower than Hilliard Davidson's. The Legend of the Sand Dollar. So much to read. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh. Now break the center open and here you will release five winged doves awaiting to spread God's will and peace. And with it comes one wish. Maybe that'll work. I should find sand off. Ooh. Oh, come on. Really? I'm back in Ohio? What the places this could have taken me? Oh, whatever. Hello? Yes, it's the Internet Genie. Hackers? No, there's no such thing as hackers. <laughs> I mean, I know they're real, but... <laughs> Never mind. We gotta protect the bandwidth, otherwise the videos will stutter. We won't be able to see everyone's amazing content they've created for the Davidson 2020 Spring Film Festival. <laughs> I'm gonna delete the bandwidth, and then the videos will stutter, and no one will be able to see the amazing content everyone made for the Davidson 2020 film day. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy the bandwidth. <laughs> Listen, listen, D don't worry about it. I'll take care of this hacker, and the bandwidth will be safe, and everyone will get to enjoy the film festival. I grant your wish. Now, to take care of business. You are never meant to be let out of containment, but there's a hacker taking the bandwidth, and I need you. Uh. Uh, gross, 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 gross! This wretched alien creature will travel through the internet and destroy the hacker! Your service will not go unnoticed. Just get in, get in there. will be mine! Oh, mine! And no one, no one can stop me!
Yo, what up, Plant Army? <laughs> We're back here for another debate video. Today's topic is people that wear sports jerseys are actually cosplaying as their favorite athletes. What'd you say? What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> and then, um... Okay, so guess who I was hanging out with last night? Who? Joe. Joe who? Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking nice! Oh. Hello?
I'm gonna call Gertie. Man, I'm almost done with motion graphics. I wonder what our final project is. What's this? Final project proposal? What, Mr. Gertie, what are you doing there? Wait a minute. Yes. I will propose to Mr. Gerdeman. Hello, Gertie. I've been waiting to talk to you for a while now. Mr. Gerdeman, will you marry me? Yes. That's great news. Let's get married right now. Mr. Gerdman. Signor Gerdman. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be.
mankind is on the brink of extinction without most of us even knowing it. Let me explain. My one and only senior film fest has been canceled due to a rapidly spreading coronavirus, which makes sense, right? Wrong. I've been warning the people around us for so long that the world is coming to an end, but they insist that I'm crazy. Hey, Zach, time for your bath, okay? Mom, I'm not taking a bath! I wasn't asking, sweetie. <laughs> I apologize for my mother. She's been like this ever since I tried to fit 16 pencils up my nose at once. Now, if you look at the research that I've already done, there's an incredible amount of evidence to prove my theory. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to direct your attention to my investigation board. Now, our first piece of evidence is none other than the coronavirus. The exact reason that our principal, a a Ron, a a Ron, it's such a weird name. I, th I think it's a a Ron Cookson claims we couldn't have the film fest. But looking at the coronavirus, there's something you'll notice. Very circular, just like this circle. Okay, so looking at a circle, you often associate it with another shape, a triangle, three sided, three angles. Right? You know what word has three letters? A UFO. I know, mind blown, but just hang tight with me, okay? So recently, SpaceX had to cancel their launch into space due to bad weather. But what I think happened is they were receiving signals of other life in space. Now, one thing we know about aliens is that they're noisy when they invade. One place you can't be noisy? A film fest. Everyone knows you must be quiet so everyone can listen to what's going on. Okay, so now that brings me back to a a a a, a, a Ron Cookson canceling the film fest. He knew that the aliens could not invade the film fest because they get in trouble for being noisy. Okay, so what I'm saying is he is an alien and he is planning an attack. Now, why do I think this? Because look at his worker, Mr. Gerdedemin. Look, look at him. Look closely. Yeah also known as Donald Trump, the leader of the government. Aaron Cookson is in with the government, a corrupt government, knowing that there's an alien attack coming. And Mr. Cookson is the leader of that alien attack. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this, the war is possibly over, but just know that humans will prevail. Stay safe, everybody. Zach? You left your rubber duckies you know, out. Just, just, bye, everybody. I, goodbye. Tell my family I love them. I need to mute my wife. Ha ha, poopy. Funny joke. <gasps> Who is it? What? Hamburger. Have a merry holiday. No, that wasn't very cash money. Nope! Recording a thing. I believe I can fly. Uh, not today, Satan! Yeah, that's kinda hot. Like him or hate him. He's spitting straight facts uh, right here. Trans rights, dummy. Karen, let me see the kid. My bones are made of raw spaghetti, and my joints are made of vegan marshmallows. Please love me. I'm very fragile. Juicy! I am going to beat you to death. <laughs> Took me a year just to get over you. It's just the last time. This is the last time I'm right about you. This is the last time. This is the last time you rip me in two. I ain't got no time. All of the time I had wasted on you. It took me a long time. It took me a year just to get over you. You shine. I could be on the last part of me.
For my birthday, Chucky 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 Cheese for my birthday, Chucky Cheese for my birthday. His pussycat had four propellers placed into its paws. And I wanted to know what kind of man would do this to his own pet. <laughs> his pussycat had four propellers placed into its paws.
All right, this is match point. You miss this one and you lose. Are you ready? Yeah, you know I'm ready. All right then, here we go. What can I say? I'm just way better at ping pong than you are. Psh, yeah, whatever. Hey man, I got a special gift to give to you. What, really? Aw, oh, thanks, pal. You're such a pal, you know that? Hey, you know what, man? Right. I just want to say, I really appreciate you for respecting my winning, no okay, I get it. award, all hey, that stuff. Okay, I really up now. That's how good I am at this game, and you're handing me an award. That's so just, that's awesome. Okay, God, just give me a second. Just stop talking. Just let me get this. Oh my God. <sighs> Please, don't- Oh! 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 Who are you supposed to be? Get out of here! What the- Ha! That's what you get! You're gonna pay for that! kids keep on blowing up all of our Instagrams about how you're not answering any of their questions. They're really annoying. Screw those kids. Tell them I'm um, out scooping manure or I'm gardening or I'm... Um, <sighs> I don't even care what you tell them. This one kid, Jay Sizzle, says he has our address and he's gonna come talk to you. <laughs> that kid? He smells like mustard all the time. He can't even drive a car yet. Can you just talk to them, please? Screw them! I've already started vacation. <laughs> Eleven minutes later. up the film fest on purpose, butthole. This was gonna be the best fest and you knew it. We thought you were cool, not one of those yuppies. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's all Cookson. Cookson killed the film fest. The film fest is, I'm all about the film fest. The film fest is my life, guys. So, Cookson did it. Oh, really? Well. Cookson is on me! Cookson is on me! He's a communist! Bobby Cookson! And there's the dictator now. Hey kids! Nice to see everybody's appearing to socially distancing. But uh, what's up? What gives? What's the problem? Mr. Gerdeman said you killed the film fest single-handedly. 
That's a scummy move, a Aaron. So, I mean, I, I told Mr. Gerdman he could run this thing online. Um, yeah, I even paid him extra money to do so. So, I, I, what's going on? He's not yuppie scum. There's no way. Gertie is the bomb.com. No, Darby kid. Who even invited you here today? I actually gave Mr. Gerdman everything he needed to get this project done. I would expect a lot more out of a Northwest Ohio guy. We know what you did, tournament, and you know too. Yeah, turd burglar. I've been dreaming about this since seventh grade, and you ruined it. You have to pay. So what if I did do it? It's just a stinky, stupid film festival, dumb kids. My gosh, what are you gonna do, torture me? <laughs> Whatever, it's just a film festival, whoop-de-doo. I knew it! He is a freaking yuppie! Hope you don't need your kneecaps. We can always burn him at the stake. We should take some hair samples for research. It's a good thing you're wearing red. A, let's get rid of that nasty goatee. Anyone into badminton? You'll be sleeping with the fishes. You can't all attack me at once! Social distancing! It's the law in Ohio! What a great idea. One at a time. It's gonna be fun watching you squirm. Me first, turd bird! No!